Guys, it's Zed here back again with another UFC review. This review is on UFC uh, Live on Versus number 5. Um, this card is actually really good. After watching the fights, the fights are actually so good. Um, it could have even have been a, a proper pay-per-view card, uh, uh, my standard anyway. Um, let's get it all kicked off with the first fight. Amir Sadala versus um, Dwayne Ban Ludwig. Um, this fight, everyone thought Sadala was going to win because he had the upper hand. But no, nah, Ludwig went in, swinging, swinging, and he got the win on that. He got the uh, decision. He just at, he just basically at Don Sadala, I miss Sadala in all three rounds, and showed that he was the better fighter, and um, it proved. So yeah, Dwayne Ludwig won that one against Amir Sadala. Um, next fight was um, Oliveira versus Donald the Cowboy Cerrone. Now, Donald the Cowboy Cerrone, um, as we all know, was a part of WEC. He did pretty well in WEC, and he just went in guns blazing in this one. Done um, Oliveira. 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 Uh, Oliveira was basically on the ground, and then he just goes in there, starts swinging, and he gets the win. He gets the uh, TKO, TKO decision off of that one. Well, not decision, it was just TKO. And then from there, we move to our co, co main event of the evening, which was Dan Miller versus Ben Henderson. Ben Henderson, as we all know, was a, was a good. Well, no, as a part of the UA, WEC, he was a lightweight champion, and um, in this and in this bat, he showed why he was the lightweight champion back in WEC. Only two people have um, beat Jim Miller, and that's Frankie Edgar and Gray Maynard, and they're both fighting for the lightweight title. So that just shows that if Ben Henderson was to win this one, he would be in good contention for the lightweight title, and or he would be a good contender later down the line for the lightweight title at least. So as this one got kicked off, we just saw Ben Henderson outdo uh, Jim Miller throughout the whole three rounds. It was unbelievable the way Jim Miller was getting dominated. He'd never been dominated the way I saw him be dominated in that fight. And in the end, Ben Henderson was just on top of him, swarming on top of him from on the ground. He dominated in every single position going, no doubt about it. And in the end, uh, in the end, I think Ben Henderson got the decision on that one. So yeah, um, I expect to see good things from Ben Henderson, and it just makes the lightweight division that much better. Um, and we expect to see a bit more intriguing fights in the lightweight division as well. Um, next fight was the main event of the evening, which was Dan Hardy versus Chris Lights Out Lytle. Um, in this fight, we noticed from the night before that this was going to be Lytle's last ever fight in the UFC. So. We um, so we expected to see good things from him, and we expected to see him pull off a win um, and go guns blazing that for his last fight. Whereas on the other hand, Dan Hardy lost three in a row. Uh, he was he was at risk of getting cut, and they gave him one more chance. So if he lost his fight, no doubt about it, he probably will be in the running for getting cut for, uh, from the UFC. And and how it went was is they just started banning and they and basically Dan Hardy just said it was none of to fight him in his last fight and then in this fight they just win that banning giving it all in front of the crowd and both fighters if it was to go to the decision you couldn't predict who was going to win because every single round they were banning with each other I think Chris Lytle got the first round second round Hardy uh, clips Lytle with a big massive clip and also was going in with knees as well Hardy never gave up and look, third round what happened was is um is Hardy went for his first takedown and he basically lights that light all just got him just basically reversed it got his head and choked him from on the ground so light all got his 20 uh, got his got his win and um, and got the W for his 20th fight which which only six UFC fighters have done whereas Hardy has now got his full floss and is a good contention for getting cut from the UFC which I don't really want to say I think, I think Dan Hardy put some good fights um, so I hope not to see that. So yeah, that's my UFC review for UFC Live and Versus number five. Um, next UFC review will be about UFC Rio. Uh, as you all know, they're going back to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where it all started off MMA. So and the card for that is so packed. So uh, it should be a really good card. One quick note is that I had the strike force of um, of basically got rid of um, Fedor Emelenko and. Um, Alexandra, uh, Alexandra Overeem. Um, I don't know why I got rid of Alexandra Overeem because he won every single one of his fights. It's just that when they wanted him to fight, he wasn't fighting. Whereas Fedor Emelenko, um, 
had three straight losses and therefore got cut. But I thought um, Fiedel was actually one of the big names from Strike Force, and I thought that was a guy that pushed the brand forward. But um, by all accounts, we could be seeing Alexandra Overeem uh, fighting for the UFC pretty soon because, uh, from from what I have heard, um, he's got a contract with Zufa, which, um, which says that he's a Zufa for fighter and that he has to um, fight for Zufa companies and etc. So um, yeah, soon see what goes on with that. But um, yeah, keep in touch. Back my next UFC review, UFC 134. So yeah, UFC Rio, also known as. See you later. Bye.